Merhaba friends, Intel Hacksam on macOS. In my previous video, I had shown you how to install QEMU from the command line using Brew. And I assume you have QEMU installed and we have the latest version of QEMU that is 7. So first, I'm going to show you what you can achieve with Hacksam Accelerator for QEMU on macOS. And then I'm going to show you how the script that I'm using to run this virtual machine. And finally, we will install Hacksam on macOS and verify that it is working correctly. So stay with me till the end because the finale is going to be most important. Why would you ask we need Hacksam on macOS? Well, it's an alternative accelerator for your virtual machines using QMU. Apple has hypervisor framework, HVF. But I just wanted to show you that, yes, we can use Hacksm on macOS also. All right, now this, we need to uh, make it full screen. So let's see if full screen works. And yes, I think full screen works and it looks almost native. So yes, Hacksm is working correctly. And if you had noticed, Hacksm was working in fast mode, but we skipped through that screen very fast, okay. So since we are on running it through the CD-ROM, you see the live user there. I am going to install Arch uh, through the Arch Linux GUI installer by a Demon Killer. I would highly recommend it. I don't know if I'm going to get brick bats for that, but this is the installer that I have used to install Arch on my system, and it's easy. Basically, it makes your life easy. Okay. So and it, and the thing is, it used Calamaris installer. So once Calamaris installer shows up finally, we will install Arch using Hacksam. So it thinks I'm in New York. Fine, all right, someday possible. And you see, we have booted up in bias mode. We are not using UEFI. I could, but just to make it easy, I just used bias. Okay. So I'm going to just erase the disk that I have, and you see, I have a one TB disk there. And I will just use swap with no hibernate. I think this should this is good. It's not a tutorial how to install Arch on your machine, so this will suffice. And I, if I check the bootloader location, we just install it on the master boot record of the first disk. Um, that is fine. And I don't think system partition and do not install bootloader is not. I mean, no. Okay. So let's click on next and. I'll quickly enter my credentials here and it's done. I was pretty fast in typing next and we will see what is happening. So basically we just installing Arch and we have a swap with no hibernate. So this will take some time. I'm going to be back when the install has completed and we are going to boot this machine without using the ISO. All right. So back after the install, if we look closely, now I'm going to see now we'll see the script that I used to install Arch on uh, Q using QME on macOS using Hacksam. So this is a script, guys. And you see down there, I am using Axel, which is Hacks, H-A-X. So trust me, I'm using Hacks and I'm not using uh, HVF. And you can modify the script based on the hardware capabilities of your, your machine if you have like 16 gigs of RAM, please give 8 gigs. Or if you have like 16 threads, you can allocate 8 threads. Your performance is going to be better. So I just removed the uh, ISO that we used to install uh, Arch. And now that we have removed the ISO, we have to boot from the QCOW disk, which is the hard disk. So I'm going to append a parameter called boot C. C means boot from the first hard disk. All right. So it, it pays to learn the QU, QEMU command line. So I would highly recommend invest your time in that. So we're going to fire it up and say, Auzu billahi minash shaitani rajeem, bismillahi rahmani rahim, and booting from hard disk, grub, arch Linux, looks good, guys. Yes, really good. So we are booting it up. And since this is the first boot, it's checking its clear on our screen. All right, looks good. Now, again, we're going to make it full screen. So we hit enter full screen. And hopefully it will resize. Yes. Great, great, great. I mean, making a full screen really feels native. Like it's like running it on, on, uh, on bare metal. Okay. So quickly, I'm going to show you that this is a fully functional machine. And you see my username there, Hikmat Ustad. So I'm going to bring up console. 
so it can console me for the atrocities I face in other OSs. <laughs> All right. I don't think I think that was a bit too much. <laughs> okay. All right. So I, this is slow. So the first thing I'll do is I'll change compositor to disable compositor and startup. And let's see. Yeah, feels snappier, guys. I mean, really. You know why I did it? Because I'm running obviously on on a weak machine. So. Okay, so let me uh, update this machine. As you can see, we had internet, but just to prove it to you guys, we have Arch. I'm going to update the Arch Linux keyring because the keyring gets uh, obsolete and not not this time. So probably the ISO had the latest keyring. So I'm just going to update Arch, and we'll see that our internet is connected and it's downloading from the repos, and we have a lot of things to update. But while we update, I'll just show you what we have. We are using NeoFetch. And if the screen comes up correctly, why? Because you know I'm recording, I'm running Arch, and I'm updating Arch on the background. So it took some time. You see CPU 4, and we are running in a Q QEMU KVM machine on, on Mac OS. All right. So let me shut it off. That's enough. I think that's enough for proving that we have a functional machine and let's see all right so it will shut down and now I'm going to we'll see how we can get a uh, hacksm on macOS so if we search with brew saying brew please search for hacksm it gives us a formulae and a cast so to verify it I'll just go to brew.sh and I'll search here to see we are installing the correct so it's see intel hacksm and it says it's an hardware assisted virtualization engine it's a hypervisor and requires mac os greater than 1010 and intel 64 bit architecture these two things are required otherwise it looks and it says if the installation fails retry after you it enable it in privacy so i'm going to say brew install dash dash cask Intel dash hacksm. That's it. This is the command that will install the kernel kext. I mean, a kext is nothing but a driver on Windows. That's the best way to understand it. The analogy is the same. And it says again, it says if the installation failed, please enable it in security and privacy general, and then it should go. So I enter my password there, and it has a silent install script. And it says silent install installation passed and it wants to give me a glass of beer but no that's not good for me okay i'll pass it so we have installed uh, hacksm but how do we verify uh, yes issue this command kextat grep intel hacksm and you will see that your kext has installed correctly so thank you so much guys take care see you next time bye bye